I think that was my father's first car. We did have others later. I know we had a Graham Page. And that we had when we went to Erie. But uh, it was stolen. And um, so then my father bought a Model A Ford Coupe. And all seven of us, my grandmother was with us. We'd go for a ride most every Sunday. He took Tom and I, each holding a child, and my grandmother holding him. Anyway, we all got in. Basically, we'd go out to the devil's backbone. And, uh, of course, we also would go uh, swimming. And the beaches all being private, and the peninsula road not open then, we'd go out to Fairview to Abonia and hang up a blanket and dress there on the beach. I think we have some pictures of that. My father went to Erie ahead of us and took Tom with him. They stayed at the Fisher Hotel. And then when the rest of us came, we also stayed at the Fisher Hotel. And while Mother was out working on the house, our furniture was a long time in coming. And she bought a dining room set and mattresses. And I, I really think that was all we had till the furniture came. We would stay at the Fisher Hotel with my grandmother and watch them bring the drunks in. That was at 7th and Peach. And the jail was right across the street. And uh, that was our amusement. Bring, watching the cops bring the drunks in. We did get out to our house, and a lot of the furniture was broken up, and it was, we had no rugs and so forth. And I can remember, we had gas grates, and, and we'd sit by the grate, we'd be children on the floor, and mother and dad and grandma in dining room chairs, and mother would read to us. Um, I know one, she used to read from James Whitcomb Riley. I want to go back to Grigsby Station where we used to be so happy and so poor and we'd all cry. <laughs> of course, we all got to loving Erie afterwards. Wouldn't want to leave it. <laughs> 